Hey there, fellow white shavers. Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Hey, two days in a row, two videos. Uh, I haven't done that in quite a while. Uh, today's video, we're going to be featuring Luther Red. This is in collaboration with The Razor Company, available exclusively at The Razor Company's website. I will put a link to The uh, Razor Company website in the description below. Uh, for a matching splash, we're going to be using Luther's Red Splash as well. For a razor, I'm going to go with my um, Carve uh, Knopf Pommel uh, Red Tip Razor. This is, has a B plate in it. I think it has a third use Gillette 7 o'clock yellow blade in it. Uh, we are using our Alpha Shaving uh, Synthetic Brush, kind of keeping with the color theme. Uh, we are all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works bowl and ready to get started. So let me wet the face. I'm going to try to go with a single edge razor to continue to support BBS Live Singles Week. But with the black and the red, I just had to uh, grab this razor and use it today to kind of match. Um, so to try to get some more single edge razors. I haven't used my single edge razors in, in, in a while. And I've used a few this week, uh, reminding me I need to break them out a little bit more often. No glasses today. Uh, I ran out of contacts. I thought I had another box in there. And so that's a little frustrating. I don't have to wear my glasses. So I normally wear my glasses just for reading glasses. Um, but I'm going to have to wear my glasses today uh, to see distance, which means then I have to take them off <laughs> to read. And when you're checking prescriptions all day long and you're looking at pills and bottles and doing all that kind of stuff, it's a, it's constantly off and on. It's uh, getting old. It stinks. So um, anyways, uh, scent on this. Um, this is inspired by Polo Red. Uh, scent notes are grapefruit, citrus facets, jasmine, green notes, ambery wood, accord, vetivert, uh, patchouli, and oak moss. Um, this is definitely a little bit more my speed than Florophobia was. Um, this is very nice. I had not smelled the original Polo Red, so I can't really compare it to the original. I used to have Polo Green way back in the high school days, um, but um, I don't um, recall ever having smelled red. So, but um, I do get that citrus top note. Uh, it's a very nice scent. I'd say scent strength is about a medium. So um, nice on the scent strength, not too strong, not too light. Um, I don't really get the patchouli too much. Um, I get that, like I said, the grapefruit and citrus punch kind of up front. Um, and then I kind of get the uh, more ambery wood accord and green notes um, on the base of it. But uh, I really like this one. Um, like I said, this is definitely more my speed than Florophobia. Uh, there's a look at the soap in the tub. Um, but definitely, definitely um, I have to rank this up higher in my Luther sense. Not sure where, but I think this might crack the top five. I really like Tears, I really like Calm. Um, big fan of Oregon and Kadota. Um, this might be maybe in, I like Dave as well. Um, And I really liked Blue that came out in collaboration with TRC this summer. Um, Blue is one of those that's a little <clears throat> florally to me, a floral aquatic, but it grew on me. Um, but I might, <clears throat> I might have to think about where I put this, but I think it would crack the top five for sure. Um, definitely my jam on this type of scent. Uh, it's more cologne -y. Um, I do like the Duke cologne type scents. 
So I think this is definitely a keeper for me, for sure. I'm also looking forward to, I think it's called Lonnie or Loney, the sandalwood that's coming out. It's available for pre-order on Luther's site, but um, you're paying for shipping from the UK if you're here in the US. So I'll wait for it to come out at the Razor Company. All right, time for pass number two. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're watching this for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. If you've been around for a while or since the beginning, thanks for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate it. We are approaching 800, so hopefully that's something that will be in the near future. Um, and um, if you want to help support the channel, you can use any of the affiliate links in the description below. Uh, if you are so inclined to need anything from any of those vendors, uh, including the Razor Company, you can click through that link and the channel does get some credit and it helps me get new things to show on the channel. All right, enough with the public service announcement. <clears throat> this is just a mister I got off of Amazon. Um, I kind of like, since I use the sink water as my rinse water, it's kind of nice to be able to put that clean water on my face in between passes here. Always a joy to use. Luther it is definitely one of my favorite bases out there. Um, <clears throat> it lathers very easily. That's a nice creamy lather. Uh, and I just, I, I just really, it's probably definitely in my top five bases for sure. Uh, maybe even my top Three. I haven't really ranked my bases. Um, I know like Lather Hog and has that um, that categorization ranking thing. I never quite did that, but maybe it's something I need to do. Um, but definitely in my top, maybe even three or four. This um, carve is the Christopher Bradley head with the Knopf pommel handle. So. Um, I carve Christopher Bradley, always one of my favorite razors. I have the brass Christopher Bradley. That was my very first um, artisan um, razor purchase. And I'm partial to the B plate. For me and my beard growth, that just um, is a nice sweet spot for me between comfort and efficiency. I do have the C plate for the brass, but I only have the one plate for this one. And I went with the B plate. I don't find the C that much notably more efficient than the B and the B is just a little bit more comfortable for me. Hopefully everybody's having a good summer. I haven't posted a lot of videos. I haven't bought as much stuff. My birthday was in August. I turned the big 5-0 this year. Holy cow. It's crazy. So I got a couple of a few gift cards. So I bought a few things lately, recently, including this. but I am really enjoying this one for sure. And like I said on the video yesterday, you know, I'm kind of being a little bit more picky about my scents uh, just because um, one, I'm around more people than I used to be. I don't know, I was always, I've always been a little self-conscious about not wanting to smell too strong, you know, be that guy. I think if it smells good, you can be that guy, right? But I guess that's all in the the nose of the beholder, so to speak, of what smells good. But anyways, um, just a little joke there. But um, but yeah, I mean, I had never been into fragrances or colognes or anything much until I started wet shaving. And so I'm around a lot more people, a lot more patients, customers, 
giving immunizations, things like that. So I'm a little bit more self-conscious about not wanting to smell too strong um, or anything. And plus, like I mentioned yesterday, I'm wearing a mask all day long. And so it traps the scent in there. It gets on the mask. Uh, I wear the disposable mask so I could change the mask, but you know, I try not to waste masks. Um, not that they're that expensive, but I got myself yesterday right there with the Parker. I think I just came in at a bad angle with the side of it. Anyways, um, so the scent kind of gets trapped in the mask, not just the mask itself, but just your breathing, your um, your aftershave, uh, you know, more intensely all day long. And so I've really got to like what I'm wearing anymore. And I think I really like this. Kind of, tell, we'll, we'll see when we put the splash on. That's kind of always the, the soap sometimes smells a little bit different or. The aftershave gets on your skin. And settles out slightly different sometimes. So we'll see how that goes. It's always one of the toughest areas for me to kind of get all the hair in there on the jawline. I don't know if you have that issue, just I think with the angles and everything else. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. Pretty efficient, fine, smooth shave. My Lancaster Razor Works towel, I love these towels. They're just so soft and absorbent. All right. Let's try to get the splash on here. I'm not going to try to get it on. We're going to actually get it on. All right. There we go. Got to get that alcohol scent to dissipate again uh, the skin feel of these splashes are really nice but um, you got to get used to that real whiff of alcohol right up front but once that dissipates which it pretty much already has overall yeah this is definitely a winner for me um, i like the scent again we'll see how it kind of settles out throughout the day but um, i'd say definitely a nice medium medium high on the scent strength i Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a five to a six um, overall, but a very nice shave, very enjoyable. I definitely like the Luther Red, um, and uh, it's definitely gonna be something that probably stays, not probably, will stay in my den. So thank you everybody for tuning in today, um, and we'll see you soon on the channel.